Hello and welcome, today we look at how to control the weapon recoil in Escape from Tarkov or ways around it so that you don't have to control it. But first off, Tarkov works very different from other shooters, so let's look at how pretty much every other shooter does it. In Rainbow Six Siege for example, if we start shooting the weapon, it constantly starts climbing up a little bit to the left. So in order to compensate that, we have to pull the mouse down and a little bit to the right, exactly as much as it would climb. This way, we stay more or less at the same spot. And of course, there are easier and more difficult guns in this game, for example the SMG. So when you see something like this, there was a lot of mouse movement going on. Same with Apex Legends, when you see somebody shooting with an SMG on long range, they are actively working against the recoil by pulling the mouse down and adjust to the left and right depending on the weapon recoil pattern. Because if you don't, then you're not gonna hit that many shots. You missed. So now that we know how Rico works in pretty much every other game, let's look at Tarkov. I brought an AKMS, but we're gonna fold the weapon and even remove the muzzle brake to have maximum recoil around 200, which is a lot. <laughs> and now let's shoot the AKMS without any mouse input. And that's how it looks. Now what happens here? Let's look at it at slow motion. As you can see the weapon starts climbing pretty rapidly, but suddenly it comes down and the spread becomes less. But it doesn't come down all the way, just half. That is because Escape from Tarkov has an automatic recoil control built into the system, which I don't really like at all. I think it's horrible, but that's not the point of the video. So in order to compensate the recoil, we have to work against the system and then let the system work for us. That means that if we start to shoot the after the first bullet, we have to pull the mouse down quite a bit. And as the system kicks in, we have to move the mouse up half the way again. And then we are in the middle and the system controls the recoil for you from there on. And now it's really counterintuitive, but let's try. So that wasn't too bad, let's look at it at slow motion again. As you can see, after the first bullet I pull the mouse down quite a bit and I land exactly at the spot where the first bullet hit. So that was perfect. But then I kind of messed up and the rest got flying a little bit. So you have to practice this with the weapons you want to play because every weapon with the recoil it's different. So let's look for example at a weapon with pretty much no recoil like the MP7. Here we do the same thing, but not to the extent that we did with the AKMS. So we pull down just a little bit and then we don't even really move the mouse up again because it's so little, it's just adjust the aim while you're shooting that pretty much does the trick here. And just to show you that I actually did something and not just let the weapon work, here is the MP7 without any mouse input. So you can see there's clearly a difference and that little difference is really noticeable when you for example use a 2 times scope like I like to do on my SMGs. Another very important thing here that I want to show is the difference between standing, crouching and lying on the ground. I'm not going to control the recoil, we just let it fly. So first, standing. That's the usual pattern, pretty wild. Now let's crouch. As you can see, it's already much better, but it gets even better. <laughs> When lying down, the recoil is pretty much amazing, especially for a weapon like the AKMS, which has a lot of recoil. So now that we know all of that, what can we do to improve in the game? So first of all, the recoil pattern when crouching is way better. So if you see spot an enemy before he sees you, crouch then. As we know, we have a kick in the recoil pattern. So what we can do is aim at his feet. This way the recoil kicks in, maybe we land a lucky headshot, otherwise the recoil settles on chest height. Here's another example where the kick actually gives us a beautiful headshot. So that's one way you can do. The other of course, I'd say this is the approach if you play a lot of Tarkov and no other shooters is control the recoil. But if you switch between shooters this is really unintuitive because in every other shooter it's not like this so you will have a hard time actually getting used to it and making it a reflex. I personally really struggle with it. 
But what if you don't want to do any of this? Well, there are other ways. For example, we have a skill in the game, Recoil Control, which, well, helps with the recoil. <laughs> so how you can level this is basically you just have to shoot rounds. So you can take a um, silent SMG into a raid and just fire round after round after round after round. This way you level the skill. It takes a lot of time, but it's there. Another way is to just play weapons with low recoil. And they don't have to be that expensive. For example, the Saiga 9 doesn't really understand what recoil is with 29, the PP19 for 44 recoil, then we have the P90 for example for 46 recoil, and the MP7 with 44 recoil. All of them are quite affordable, especially the upper two, so that's a way. For example, with the P90, yes, we could do the whole crouching or whatever, but <laughs> just run and gun them down because this gun doesn't have that much recoil. So if you really struggle with it and can control the weapon recoil or don't want to, then this would be the alternative. I have a lot of budget builds on the channel for the weapons I just showed you, at least for the upper ones, so check them out if you're interested. And the last thing I want to talk about is laser pointers. Because let's shoot at a wall first without a laser pointer. Now that's the recoil pattern we get hip firing without a laser pointer. Now we do the same thing with a laser pointer. Activate it. You can already see there is way less recoil when we have a laser pointer. But that only works for hip firing. So when you aim down sight, the laser pointer has absolutely no effect on the recoil pattern. But if you hip fire, better make sure you have a laser laser pointer or a flashlight activated. And I think that's it. I hope this video helps you out, if so, leave a like, tell me in the comment section how it went, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!